Hey guys, this is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 16 to 18 of season 3 of Bakuman. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1. Hold up. In 3, 2, 1. Go. Okay. You have a scene now. He doesn't want to do that. Right? I mean, it's mainly because of the fact that, you know, everyone band together and was like, mm, no. Freaking allergies. I hate the fact that we are almost over. I don't want this to end. Once again, like, it just reminds me of how when I watched Death Note so many years ago when I was in middle school, and when I got, <laughs> when it was airing on Adult Swim on Saturdays, and we were getting closer and closer to the end of it, and I was like, bruh, no, this shit is too damn good. I don't want it to end. And then when it ended, I felt empty. And it was funny because they were re-airing it the week after, so <laughs> I watched it like a dumb girl that I was but it, it's just it, it's weird when you watch something for your first time and you get the, the those memories and everything and then when it truly ends yes you feel hella empty with it and you're like damn like why didn't this get more episodes and such and and it makes you comparing these two to their other work that I'm currently watching as of right now like I it's so weird for me to say this, but I don't feel those same feelings that I feel when I watch both this and Death Note versus Platinum's End and such. Even though I'm like, probably by later on tonight or tomorrow, I'll be on episode 13. But by the time you guys see this, we should all almost be done with that show, maybe. It's honestly his best idea. You're like, oh, my baby, I love him so much. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh. This picture will tell you what? Hmm. It's a very interesting premise.
Well, yes, we get that. But, you know, sometimes smarts are a little more better than intense. That ice machine is scaring the crap out of me. I can't. Because <laughs> I'm thinking it's something else. Uh. Yeah, but see, we all know that's not going to happen, though. Excuse me. Maybe. Well, maybe he, you know, took the camera because, you know, night, mm -hmm, which we all figured out last week. Yeah, because Photoshop, come on now. On top of the school building, maybe? Ah. Yeah, but why a church, though? Yeah, he's so fucking cute.
Okay. So, well, I want to know, damn it. Oh. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Is it crow still with us? This bull. <laughs> but yeah, I bet it started on a sour note though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Kaya, that's still a lot though. We both really challenge each other, pick each other up, and inspire the hell out of each other straight up. Excuse me. Get that. Mm -hmm. right to be at that age and literally have like everything in your fucking grasp like oh 
I kill it to go back to my <laughs> page 23. Uh, I think that was like very close. Yeah, I think that was when I really kind of started either. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, but at least he was able to end it in a way he wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, now he just wants to move on to the next best thing for him. For something new. Well, of course. I mean, what else did you think he was going to do? Take like a five month break and then come back when he's ready? Really? You're just making it to make it? Well, you know, he has free time. So, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing just thinking, you know. Oh my god, it's funny, it's bad. Yeah, but I feel like right here and now, it's just literally going to be like, okay, you know what, here, my work that I have, mm -hmm, put that bitch in. <laughs>
immediately. See, yes, once again, you are weird, just like Elle, but it's okay. I like you. <laughs> Just as much as what I liked Elle, but of course we all knew I was a light girl. <laughs> I still am, shit. Yeah. Of course not. Not like not by a long fucking shot. Come on now. If you only fucking knew. You don't know how much shit he wrote. And it seems like with the last, what, it's 75, so we are on 16. The last, like, what, nine episodes that we have left with this show, something tells me, maybe, just maybe, probably when we get to maybe, like, the final five, we might see, like, this huge flash forward to where our boys are in like their 30s and such like oh maybe I don't know I don't know if it's really ready for them to have one more flash forward but I, I mean I wouldn't be mad at it if they did it or if they didn't but yes going back to Nizima AG once again like yes since the first time I saw this kid I was like yeah mm -hmm, you are just L straight up 100% you are weird different you kind of creep me out we all know, like, so many of my friends knew how much I not despised, disliked Elle and how Elle creeped me out. Now when I rewatch Jeff, no, I, I literally still love him and such. But, you know, like I said, I, I was a light girl. I will always be a light girl because fucking... Uh. <laughs> but... Whatever AG's <laughs> next work is, I mean, yes, of course, you can tell that he, his craftsmanship, his work, his art, his everything, he he puts his all into it for AG, and I think that's one, one of many things why I like him in really every single manga in this show, and how they really try to put their best foot fucking forward, because you never truly know what the fuck is going to happen in something but I do also love the fact is, once again, and I'm going to say this, that he was able to end something on his terms in his own fucking way. If you look at most, like, we can say mangakas in a nutshell, um, TV shows, live action animes, movies sometimes, books, um, these authors, these screenwriters, producers, whatever, are sometimes, you know, went, like, oh, God, here we go again with this shit. When you are watching something and it's so freaking good in them next, in them, like, first three seasons, then by season four to the end of the series, it just plummets and stuff. And the screenwriters, the producers and everything, they are trotting that horse that was there, like, yes, I can do this, I got it. The thing is, like, fucking panting to get to that finish line and such and there are some people the higher ups of companies uh for maybe even mangas um studios may i, I can say maybe mm, what's a big one that i can kind of say that in a way did this but it kind of backfired 
and we, we've talked about this one before um sony spider-man <laughs> duh um and a couple of other certain tv companies and it's like that have always done something where so many years later down the line where someone who has created something um they have always said and regretted having the giving giving a show a book or whatever the ending that it wasn't truly what they wanted and stuff and what maybe even fans wanted at that time and so the fact is that ag was able to give something that not only he was satisfied with that his fans and everyone who is his rivals friends any anything anyone we're all able to still cheer him on thank him for these you know interesting stories and chapters and challenging moments that his characters went through and encouraging people and stuff that everyone was really satisfied about that and that's a good thing straight up like oh my gosh yes please make really good gorgeous pieces works of works of art so that people can be inspired to make their own things and you know be like hey i did this because of this and da da da, da you know because it's nice like oh i can't it's too much oh my god but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode 17. Alrighty, episode <laughs> episode 17 and three two one Oh yeah, did he's, did she even say anything to him, or was she so busy with her other stuff? Hmm. That I would. Uh, oh, of course. It's not good. But then hold up, wait, 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 USA, baby, baby. Maybe this is a sign to write something else. To at least finish this series and move on. Of course, that's going to eat the hell out of her. Like, ugh. It's like, oh my god, working a freaking corporate job and you're at home and you're still working on, like, your project and then your boss or your manager or whoever is your, like, higher up and such um, says that the higher up of your higher up does not like the idea and then you have to scrap it and start it all over. I, I can't imagine having that. Oh my god, I would just... I can bust <laughs> to me because that would be so bad. Like, oh, God. I feel for people. I really do. I can't with the glove. <laughs> Even that, like hearing that from people, it probably like depress the hell out of you. You could call him. I mean, yeah, you know, what if Kaya answers, but...
<laughs> right. There's a lot like that. Because she's depressed. See, okay. I love the fact that he asked her as her husband. Like, yes, that's what we do. Regardless, whether you a fucking husband, you a boyfriend, whatever, you fucking ask your significant other. You don't be a dumbass and you just go. Because if she finds out, Shit, fuck that. I would have called the police now. Mm. Oh. But you quit on your terms. Think about it. Aww. 
the fact that Kaya even showed up as well. If the chief is being called, it must be really important. Oh my god, don't think that! Yeah, I mean, is he a little too nice now? I mean... Mm. Guys, oh, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Really? Damn, that was fucking eight years ago, but that was, for me, it was episodes ago. Like, <laughs> a long ass time ago. <laughs> Okay, just finish cleaning. Brings up memories. <laughs> mm hmm.
If only. Oh my god. I would have cried if that would have happened. Like, stop. <laughs> Don't be. True. I mean, yes, yeah, because you know our boys are the type of boys who will not take no for a fucking answer. Which we hope so. It's you too. No. I mean, please, because that needs to eat his motherfucking words. Please, like, I beg you. Once again, I really shouldn't be surprised when it comes to AG, but still. <laughs> exactly. Huh? Oh, he's pretty. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, did, did he just say what I think he just said? Is this Jujutsu Kaisen before Jujutsu Kaisen? I just need to say that, just to get that out there. So they're both doing Dark Heroes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's why the title is called Zombie and Demons. Are you going to use the titles from everything? But it would work though. Well, hey, at least it's not zombie idols, even though I like that. <laughs> Wait! 
Wait, hold on. Uh, now we're doing, um, oh my god. What the fuck is the name of that movie that did that? And he was a zombie and he fell in love with a girl. Ish. Oh my god. I fucking love that movie. <laughs> I mean, hey, it seems interesting though. It's not too dark. Honestly, the way he looks, he kind of looks like a freaking Shimagani Tensei protagonist. Or side character. And then he just looks like Mello straight up. Perfect. Mm-hmm. So, I already fucking know that this is probably going to be, oh my god, you see, I, uh, <laughs> why would you give me that, I think it's my baby's kiss, I can't. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, as I was saying <laughs> before the fan growling. Okay. This shit was about to be the best ish. Like, ooh, cause like ah, oh, like they suddenly oh, had to put the little nitty gritty death note feels in there and I fucking love it. I mean, you know, I love and this is just like with any type of person who has a certain work and it gets to hella popular very 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 fucking popular and they get another they decide to do something else and they start referencing their old work and their new work like oh my god something about that is just like the freaking cherry like on top of an ice cream and you just you be like yes like uh i need this i need more like little tidbits and such. I mean, Disney has always been like that and shit. And a couple other series that I've seen and such. But like, I really think this is going to be their number one. The one that is going to get an anime. Everything. Like, oh. This is the one. This is the one. The one we have been waiting for since episode fucking one. This series is the one that these two have been fighting for. That it might be the gr the fu hell it might even be a motherfucking goat by the end of this series. I'm just so I'm so freaking shocked that like I really thought the chief would have been here. From the time we've met him in, like, the first few episodes of the show when it started, I thought he was going to be here up until the end. And by the end of the series, that is when they would have ultimately replaced them. But the fact that he's getting replaced now and that in a, by the end of the month, which could be by next this next episode or episodes 19, 20, and 21, he will officially kind of be written out. Uh, out. <laughs> I can't speak. Out. 
of this series and such. Or he might just make one more appearance before we're, like, I'm officially done with this anime, I hope. I, I really am just hoping that, like, everybody who we've met from episode one up till now makes one more final appearance because we are getting very close to the end of this show. And I, once again, I hate that. I really, really fucking hate it. And I hate this so bad because something tells me because... I feel like I'm going to end up buying the whole entire series, but it's the the last time I looked it up, it was like $309, but I might be smart and just collect everything like, you know, one by one. And then your girl also might be collecting Death Note as well, because I've always wanted to collect that series for the longest fucking time. So yeah, but like, oh. <sighs> my boy's got this, but yes, <laughs> go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 18. Alrighty, episode 18 and 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> but Basically. Mm hmm I shouldn't even be sleepy. It's almost like, well, almost 11. It's only 1040, but uh, I still have stuff to do tomorrow, and I have a lot of stuff to do, which sucks. I got an interview. One. Two, I am going out of state for like a day, um, or half of a day. Um, then I have to come back, watch the one show that I got to do. I got to work on Saturday. Won't be back home until 5.30-ish. Then I have... What is out on Saturday? The Doll Show, Pretty Cure, and something else, I believe. I don't know what it is. And then... Other things on Sunday. <laughs> mm-hmm. Of course.
No, remember to get sleep. <laughs> it's a fucking cat! Gotcha. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm, I know it would frustrate the hell out of me. Will you get off your fucking high horse? <laughs> But still, like, mm. yeah, in his own way, but. <laughs> Shut up, my, I mean, microwave. <laughs> Dryer.
Come on, just let him do it. Because we're positive about this. <laughs> then maybe at least let them end PCP. Exactly. You have to figure out what you want to do with it. You can't always just run to him. Which could work in their favor. Oh. Because you know. Yeah. I know, because you guys have been together for so long. Of course. 
Hansity. Excuse me. I'm blushing, you've already gave it away! Like, there's not much time on her hands! <sighs> In a way, he did. He really wants to work on this. Yes, of course. Because if they don't do this, they're going to lose out probably on one of the most best things. And which one do you want to do monthly? Please, like, say the shit that you want to say. You did good. Good. 
Yeah, shouldn't you guys get like a... <laughs> I get that. It has way too many memories. Oh, you're so cute. Of course, he never got to finish it. Yeah. Oh, my heart. This is just like too fucking much. This week's all three episodes were just bam, bam, bam. Like, oh my god. The feels. Everything that happened in these three fucking episodes. Holy shit. I just, oh, uh, 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 I can't. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, oh. Especially this last one. And the fact that Hatsuri really, really, truly wanted to work on reverse, like, oh, no, we can, like, oh, I'm so happy, I'm happy that's gonna be Shonen, cause, like, oh, it just would have felt weird that if PCP was in Shonen Cell, and then the other one was in the other series, but still, like, you just, when you know, you know, and you go, and you fucking demand, like, hey, I want this, like, this, this should be a better idea, this is what I, how I feel, I want this, and if people agree with you, fucking go with it. If you have that feeling, fucking grab it by the balls and fucking take it. Like, oh, I'm so happy. Oh, but my babies are good this week. They did so fucking good this week. Oh, God. With the PCP chapter, and then the ish with Iwase, and then this week's. Oh, my God. Just, I can't. <laughs> We're almost done with this show. We really got this done in an hour and 30 minutes. Damn. You know, I, oh my god. <laughs> But I will say, yes, sometimes having two series or multiple projects that you have made in anything, it, it does have some pros and cons to it, especially when you are someone who, looking at screenwriters who have had, oh God, what year was this? This was like 2000 and... This had to be early. Maybe even early YouTube for me, so mid it, it had to be either fall 2016 when this happened or fall 2017 for me i know it had to be when i was almost when i was officially a year into youtube um and when the flash came out arrow was still hella popular at that time then flash came out 
all these other DC comic shows were coming out, and then the person who was making these DC comic shows at the same time decided to make this show on NBC called, I think it was called Blind Spot, I believe. Um, I don't know how long it lasted because I only really watched the show for like two seasons and then I sort of dipped because funny enough, this is with, this is more with my scripted shows and then maybe with some anime shows. Um, depending on how long I watch a show, especially if it's like season one, season two, season three, season four, season five, season 27, whatever, um, in the beginning, I'm really addicted to it. And then by the time we're on like season three, four, five, there is a point where I start kind of getting bored with the show. And in a way, by that third, fourth season, the show isn't as exciting for me anymore. And it's happened with this person's every single show that this person has made. I will watch like season one and season two like it's fucking religious and ish. Hell, even season three. But by the time we get to like maybe season four or season five of this person's show, I think his name was Greg, um, who did, you know, Arrow, Flash, All the Mother Ish, The Blind Spot Show, it sort of plummets in a way. And it's so freaking weird because sometimes you can't have everything, you know, you can't have everything and have your cake, eat your cake too. You can't have, you can have all these successful shows, but sometimes even having all these successful shows or successful book series or movie series, there still is always one, usually one that ends up being a downfall. And so it feels like now when I'm looking at all these shows that he's made from when he made Arrow up even up until now, and you look back at them and you see how, in my opinion, because I do know what that one show is, that is like the ultimate travesty, <laughs> but we're not going to say what it is. You, you look at it and you're like, damn, like, what the fuck? But yeah, I have that weird little curse. It, it's happened with me almost like every fucking show that I've seen for, so, like I said, for some anime. Um... For really for the summer anime, it's really just one. It really is. I ain't gonna say what it is. It's kind of. It's very obvious what it is. I'm just not gonna say the title of the show. If you know me, you know me. You know what the fuck it is. If you don't, all I'll say is you can figure it out. It, it's very obvious. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's just something about TV shows where it, it's good at the beginning and then by the time you get like to that halfway point something just in your brain just clicks after you're watching after you finish that one season and you're like bruh what the hell did I just experience with this show and such but I am excited for them I really think that they can do this to do it and I, I like to have two series two two oh my god but at the same time I just don't want Mashiro or you know, to just, you know, get sick. Because last time it was really bad and it could get worse. With the last few weeks that we have remaining with this show, I'm I'm just I'm I'm petrified. Hella petrified. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode sixteen to eighteen of season three of Bakuman. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for my Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 19, 20, and 21. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.